ClassicGameRoom.com Welcome to Classic Game Room. What happens when you unleash Sonic the Hedgehog? You get Sonic Unleashed. Your dinner, Doctor. All right, here's the straight dope. Doctor Eggman breaks the planet of whatever it's called apart to unleash the Gaia monster living inside, which is, I think, the same plot as Asura's Wrath. Except uh, Sonic the Hedgehog loses a battle with Dr. Eggman in space, falls to the planet with Chaos Emeralds, and has to put the planet back together again. The plot and extremely well-produced cutscenes seem like a convenient way to put a bunch of things together in this game that shouldn't actually be together. Think Sonic the Hedgehog meets Sonic Adventure meets Teen Wolf meets God of War. That's Sonic Unleashed. It's not perfect by any means, but... It's certainly ambitious and memorable, albeit a bit repetitive in the end. This 2008 release from Sega somehow manages to turn Sonic into an action beat-em-up Wolverine and still stay focused. Here's what you do, you go through these city levels, kind of like Sonic Adventure except less confusing, where you unravel the plot and talk to people and then open up the next environment. You're also looking for sun and moon coins which open up new areas, and then you play these Sonic the Hedgehog style races. Where you tear through these levels as quickly as possible, collecting coins, rings, and progressing the storyline until the next sequence of events where you turn into a were-hedgehog at night and fight bad guys like Kratos except Sonic. It sounds crazy, doesn't it? Like, I would have loved to hear them pitch this game. We're gonna take every game genre imaginable and just mix them all together into one Sonic the Hedgehog jambalaya. Because at nighttime he turns into a were-hedgehog with claws and during the daytime he runs because he's Sonic the Hedgehog and that's what Sonic does. What you get here is a sizable, fun Sonic the Hedgehog adventure that simply shouldn't exist, yet here it is. I can only imagine that Sonic Unleashed is somewhat polarizing because it tries so many different things that it never really gives any one part of the game a chance to stand out and be the best. Sonic Unleashed feels like it was engineered for replay value because there's no way you're going to get through these running levels the first time with a good grade. They go way too fast. You got to memorize where you're jumping, what you're trying to collect, and what you're attempting to do. The fighting scenes are far more straightforward, you're collecting stuff that helps Sonic level up and become more powerful and learn new moves, we've all seen this before. But it's still strangely enjoyable to watch Sonic unleash all of his pent-up aggression. After all of these years, he really wanted to just kick some ass. So you like action games, but you won't let your kids play God of War or Devil May Cry. This has an E10 plus rating, and it's an action game, but not an overly violent one. When you go to put each section of the planet back, there's a boss battle, usually complete with quick time events. Because, boy, those never get old. The cutscenes look great, and the game has generally high production values. But is it really a Sonic the Hedgehog adventure? I suppose I'll have to leave that up to you to decide. That's right, I can't make up your mind for you. Except when it comes to buying a Vectrex. You should do that. 
In my opinion, the best part of the game is probably these running sequences, but you've got to play them over and over and over again to memorize them. So, in conclusion, I think your enjoyment of Sonic Unleashed will come down to whether or not you like to do that. The fighting and adventure scenes are pretty neat, the controls are fairly predictable and work well enough, but none of it really stands out. It's the entire game itself that's interesting. So a big thanks to Eric from Dallas, Texas for sending this one to the show. It's Sonic Unleashed. Unleash your inner were-hedgehog on some unsuspecting evil robots.